Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. Precious Metal Summit 2014 Zurich, and we have an outstanding silver company now with us, Max Silver. You remember the company was several times with Peter McGuff. I called him already the Silver Pope of Mexico on our uh, on our commodity TV. And now I'm also very happy that I have the president and CEO here with me, George Paspalas. George, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you, Johan. <laughs> thank you for having me. Absolutely. Max Silver, what happened? 2014, what have you achieved? Well, 2014 has been a good year for us. Um, we've enjoyed our relationship with one, uh, on one Scipio with Fresnia, the operator. Um, mm -hmm. We're working together very well. Uh, they're doing an outstanding job uh, setting the ramp down to the ore body. Mm -hmm. um, if you go on our website, mm -hmm. you have a look at the quality of the work. We've got a number of photographs of the ramp. Um, yeah, I checked it already, it looks fantastic. I don't yeah. know about your driveway and your house, but mine doesn't look that good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so they're doing an outstanding job. They're uh -huh. good operators. Yeah. We're working together well. Um, now the project's on target, mm -hmm. and uh, we're looking forward now to sort of doing some more detailed engineering, uh, moving the project forward to continuing construction. Mm -hmm. All of next year is going to be more ramp, mm -hmm. uh, getting down to the ore body. Uh, some engineering on the mill side and then towards late next year and uh, the following year getting into the mill construction, the underground infrastructure and uh, hopefully by the end of 2017 uh, mm -hmm. and moving into early 2018, cash flow for MAG. That would be uh, lovely, as, yes. As, as we get into <laughs> to, 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 to the ore body. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to remind you, one, Scipio is an extremely high grade asset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The highest grade silver asset undeveloped in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, for MAG, being a developing company now, extraordinarily successful exploration company, mm -hmm. but heading into development now, having a partner like Fresneo mm -hmm. uh, doing the execution for us, is very much a de-risk scenario. So mm -hmm. we've got a bit of the best of both worlds. Extraordinarily good asset mm -hmm. being built by extra extraordinarily good operators. Absolutely. And so in 2014, the challenge for us was really to ensure that we were able to contribute the funds mm -hmm. for our share of the joint venture. Mm -hmm. How much do you have to contribute there? We have to contribute a total of 132 million mm -hmm. uh, by the end of 2017. Ah, so it's in tranches. Correct. Okay. And uh, the nice thing about this project, the next year, uh, like this year, is a very modest expenditure because we're essentially just putting the ramp down mm -hmm. to the ore body. But we have $90 million of cash on the balance sheet now. Um, we were fortunate in uh, June and July, uh, mm -hmm. we went to the equity markets. Uh, we yeah, you did that very well, I must say. <laughs> well, if you look in the uh, rear view mirror now, you, we actually finance off a 52 week high. Yeah. Uh, we went in with a $75 million deal, uh, overnight bought deal, fully subscribed, including a 15% over allotment. Mm -hmm. So that gave us $86 million Canadian, which uh, I think an hour after it hit our bank account, we uh, translated into US dollars, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good move. And uh, now we're fully funded for the next two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So we still have an, an element of financing required for one Scipio. Mm -hmm. Right, another 30, maybe $40 million. Yeah, but I think with your ability to finance, this shouldn't be a problem. Well, that's right. Even yeah. this, this civil price disaster we have today. But Correct. Uh, <laughs> I mean, and that's a good point. Um, yeah. You know, we showed this year mm -hmm. um, that we quite comfortably funded this $90 million that we have now. Um, we have two and a half years uh, before we probably need the fund again if required. Mm -hmm. um, and the asset quality speaks to itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, if I think uh, I think I uh, read six dollar sixty one all in cash costs. You are prognosting so correct. All, all in sustaining cash costs of, yeah. of six sixty one, and, yeah. and a very robust project. You know, mm -hmm. one of CPO isn't just about the grade, mm -hmm. right? It's got very good silver grade, six hundred grams per ton. Mm -hmm. It's also a two gram per ton gold ore body. Mm -hmm. It's got six and a half percent combined lead zinc. Mm -hmm. It's also got very low mining costs because it's quite vertical and it can be mined very efficiently. Mm -hmm. It also has very good metallurgical recoveries. Uh, as I look at this asset, I keep thinking, can, uh, yeah, can I, it be this good? I feel how excited right? you are. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and what that translates to yeah. is, you know, at $18 silver, the project still has a 33% after tax rate of return. Yeah, that's fantastic. You take silver down to $10, mm -hmm. right? We're not just keeping the lights on at $10. Mm -hmm. It's got a 
after tax or IRR. Yeah, but I think most of the civil producers will shut down at ten dollars. With this probably. asset, with this asset, we're in a very fortunate position. Yeah, right. Yeah. We are still making good money at ten dollars yeah. silver. Yeah. However, I don't anticipate that silver is going to go to ten dollars. No, definitely. We, we don't hope so. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Right. Okay, let's talk a bit uh, about the future, two thousand fifteen. What are the milestones, or what is the major milestone you want to achieve next year? Two thousand and fifteen, we continued uh, working with Fresnel and Wallace Scipio. Mm -hmm. um, you know, hopefully uh, 2015 is the year we get back on Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. uh, Cinco de Mayo is our 100% owned property up in the mm -hmm. state of Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had two silver driven discoveries on that property and one, uh, the initial discovery on the property was actually a molybdenum gold deposit. Um, that molybdenum gold deposit is a non-core asset to us mm -hmm. because it's molybdenum and mm -hmm. it's also a surface mine so it's open pit. And moving into the future, we're going to be predominantly silver mm -hmm. with the commensurate base metals and underground mining. So we're looking to sell that and we've engaged the CPM group out of New York City uh, to sell the Pozo Seco for us. Mm -hmm. And that could be the way we actually finance the balance of one Scipio. Mm -hmm. So getting on Cinco, selling um, uh, Pozo Seco are primary focuses in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and when we get on Cinco, we'll be you know, keen to get into the Upper Manto deposit. Mm -hmm. We have some infill drilling to do there, mm -hmm. uh, harden up that resource and do an engineering study on that project, because that could very well be our second mine mm -hmm. um, in relatively short periods. Mm -hmm. And then also get deep in that ore body. Um, Dr. Peter McGore is the doctor of CRDs particularly in Mexico, Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> we think we have a tiger by the tail there uh -huh. and okay. uh, we need to get up and prove that. Yeah, great. We also have one other CRD, carbonate replacement deposit, mm -hmm. uh, which for the non-geologists who may be watching this, that does mean elephant deposits. The mm -hmm. CRDs are all of the big deposits in the world. Yeah, yeah. The big silver deposits in the world yeah. are carbonate replacement deposits. And we're earning in with a Vancouver junior, Canisil, on another CRD. Um, called Salamandra. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably be doing a little bit of exploration drilling on that on 2015. Mm -hmm. But the company's really focused on Juan Escipio, yes. working with Fresneo, yeah. ensuring we're funded for that, and working with the Ejido on Cinco and getting back on the ground. Fantastic. I like to hear that and I uh, hope uh, yeah, we have soon a lot of good news from you well, and hoping. all the best for it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Charles. Great. Great. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there was Max Silver, there was George Paspalas, uh, the president and CEO. Well, you heard it. They are full on track to bring this into production and uh, with $90 million in the bank, 9-0, not 19, 9-0, that's really a lot of money these days and also, you know, the economics with $6.61 all in cash costs, that's outstanding. Silver today is something like uh, $14.5. They, they will still make money. They make money down $10 the road, so that's no question. And uh, Fresnillo is a strong partner. I would say even the strongest partner you can maybe have in Mexico. So looks all perfect. Perfect setup. Very compelling story. Check out the company. Thanks and bye-bye from Zurich.